Hello, welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new Reaction Slayer Live Undead figure set. So let's go ahead and spin this around and take a closer look. And here is Slayer out of the packaging. Now, can I just say right off the bat, where the hell is Dave at? I don't understand why this is a three pack. If you're doing an album cover, uh, you would have Lombardo in the back with the drumsticks. Uh, so I don't know why Dave is not included here. Uh, I don't know if it's a licensing thing or if the band was like, fuck Dave. I have no idea, but uh, he's missing and that really kind of sucks. But anyway, we'll just keep on moving forward because I am happy with what we got here. Now these are three and three quarter inch figures, uh, just like the, uh, the old Star Wars action figures. Um, and uh, those, that figure size has been continued on up till this day. And uh, Reaction does a whole line of three and three quarter inch figures and especially they do uh, metal stuff too like um oh king diamond and all kinds of stuff so right now we got slayer i'm super happy about this i am a slayer fan for life i grew up as a kid listening to slayer and uh i remember having this album back in the day i still have it but uh i never thought like i would get action figures of the live undead cover so I'm freaking fan fanboying out over this just because I think it's so freaking awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at Jeff here. Which I think the sculpt and paint app looks rad. Uh, now, since these are three and three quarter, uh, there's limited articulation. So we have just a little bit of head swivel here and we have full arm rotation, but that's that's it and down here at the waist we have 90 degree articulation you can sit them down but that's all that you get out of three and three quarter inch figures typically but lots of cool detailing here and they really look the part the little cross necklace now funny thing about this live undead is it wasn't actually a live album it was recorded in the studio and they added crowd noise over top of it to make it sound like it was live but it was actually a studio album we'll set that down look at his guitar real quick Not a whole lot of detailing going on here, but still looks the part. And it does fit in his hand. You can kind of pop that in there, like so. And I'm kind of holding his guitar. Let's look at Tom. Again, I love the sculpt here. It's not 100% accurate to the Live Undead album cover but you get the gist and it looks super super rad now Tom's hair is shorter back here so we do have full head swivel and of course the same arm movement and the same leg movement But he has a little zombie walk or stance thing going on down here. And he looks freaking rad. Just we'll him back there. And we'll look at Carrie. Which again, we have limited head swivel because of the longer hair but the sculpt and paint app 
on him. Looks freaking rad. Got that gnarly gauntlet. And again, the same movement as all the other figures. But the detailing on here is actually very well done. And he looks rad. Oh, wow, I just wish that we had Dave. Why do we not have Dave? It's so, so frustrating. And then we have a very basic BC Rich here. Although you can kind of get him to hold it a little bit. But you kind of have to fake it. I'll get him kind of set up like that. But again, you really just kind of have to kind of fake it. Yeah, we'll stand up like that. And then we have the Slayer Tombstone, which this actually has pretty good weight to it. And the detailing on here in Paint App is very, very nice. And I love the way that looks. Badass set. All right, guys, so that's about all there is to go over on this Slayer Reaction Live Undead 3-pack. Now, this album came out, I think, in 84, and I was a little late to the party. I don't think I picked it up until 85 or 86, um, right when Slayer was getting big, at least for, like, my group of friends. And uh, I, I loved it. I jammed the hell out of it, even though it was pretty ba pretty bad recording. Uh, I loved it at the time, and I thought it was an actual live album. I didn't find out till later that uh, they faked it. But I love what Reaction has done here, and I love how they release all these uh, metal figures. This set is fantastic. The only thing is, is that it's missing Dave, and I don't understand why. Uh, it feels incomplete without Lombardo in here, um, so it's kind of puzzling that uh, he was left out and kind of disappointing as a lifelong fan. As always, feel free to leave me questions or comments. I'd love to hear if you're a huge Slayer fan like I am and feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos and until next time i will see you guys later